Hi guys, Larissa with Because is here. Last video I promised to show how to giant knead with merino wool and I was going to show it how to do it with giant needles like this. Uh, the thing is that I receive a lot of requests from people to show how I am doing it and usually I'm uh, making all my products with hand knitting. I am not using needles. So today I will show how I'm doing it and then next video will be uh, showing how to use giant needles for knitting with merino wool. Usually people doing extreme knitting or super chunky knitting using either giant needles or they doing arm knitting. And I'm uh, doing both of them, giant knitting or arm knitting. And uh, we have a tutorial how to arm knitting and uh, our Because it's store on Etsy. You can buy it for just $5 and download it. You can uh, buy needles in our store at Because.net or Because it's store on Etsy. I try giant knitting with um, merino wool or super chunky uh, yarn. But I am doing hand knitting and today I want to show you how I'm doing it. First of all, I'm using this table and my husband made it for me. This, this is just basically a regular table. It just made on angle, a little bit higher on the top. And this way uh, I find it easier to do hand knitting. So you can see this table here. And it's covered with the soft fabric. Uh, it uh, helps... Uh, Merino will stay there and not slide down when I'm hand knitting. For uh, hand knitting, uh, in my store, all my products uh, at Becausey.net and uh, Becausey store on Etsy are done with Merino wool. Uh, Merino wool, as we talk about it last video, Merino wool roving. That's what I'm using. It's pretty thick. So today uh, we will be using this beautiful sky blue merino wool and the first uh, rule when you are hand knitting arm knitting or knitting with giant needles and using merino wool roving do not pull and what I'm doing for this reason I am I unwind the whole ball and then have it ready in front of me for hand knitting this way merino wool uh, spread its fiber it becomes more uh, f uh, fluffier and more beautiful and actually a little bit stronger and this way also uh, you will not be pulling while you are knitting this way you will avoid breaking merino wool if it happens don't worry about breaking it because it's still it's uh, it's feature merino wool feature it can break down a little bit sometimes so if you break it while knitting, just make a simple knot and keep knitting. So today I will uh, show you how to make a small blanket, 25 by 30. Uh, sometimes it may be 32 inches, depending how loose you will be knitting. And we will start with casting on first. Okay, let's start with casting on. We have two pounds of sky blue yarn over here laying in pile. And now I will show you how to cast on stitches. First of all, put your yarn in front of you like that. This is the end, this is the walking yarn. Walking yarn goes on the top, making a loop like that. This is the end, walking yarn on the top. Place your hand inside, grab working yarn and pull it through. This is the first stitch that you made. Now we will be making more stitches, casting on. This uh, two pounds of merino wool is enough for a blanket 25 by 30. And for that blanket we will need nine stitches. The first stitch you have already, the second stitch, uh, put your hand inside the first stitch, grab the walking yarn and pull it out. You have two stitches. The next stitch will be done the same way. Put your hand inside the stitch, grab walking yarn, pull it through. 
three and then make nine stitches the same way your hand inside grabbing walking yarn pulling out to count how many stitches you have just count holes one two three four five we're making six seven eight and nine so when we cast on nine stitches we have this beautiful chain I usually just place it on the table in front of me and then I start hand knitting we have nine stitches the walking yarn is the best to have in front of your knitting and then you're taking the first stitch number nine put your hand inside grab working yarn and pull it up the same with the next stitch to the left we use this one already so you're going to the next hole and you can use either top hole or down hole of the stitch this every stitch has two holes you can use any stitch for casting on next stitch so let's use the top one put your hand inside grab walking yarn pull it out hand inside grab walking yarn out and then do the same with all nine stitches that you casted on see you can see those holes that's where your hand goes inside the hole pull it out inside the hole pull it out pull it out so we have one two three five six seven eight and we will make my one more that we would have nine stitches so this is our first row of stitches walking yarn in front and then we will start the second row it works the same way you just go in different direction left hand in grab walking yarn out left hand in grab walking yarn out and you can use right hand left hand which is more comfortable if you're right-handed or left-handed but the principle is the same the way of knitting is the same you just place in your hand inside the stitch grab walking yarn and pull it out and do it for all nine stitches i am showing you the easiest pattern which in regular knitting would be one row knitting and one row purl and in this case when you're hand knitting all rows will be basically just knitting not purling and purling rows will be all on the back so you keep doing it until you use all of your two pounds of merino except of your leaving a little bit for casting off keep working on your blanket by knitting this way until all two pounds is used and you have one about one yard left to cast off I love this uh, way of knitting because uh, yarn doesn't hang off on your arms you can see what you're doing uh, all your knitting project in front of you also you can finish it anytime or you can stop anytime and then you can continue working on your project anytime you have time available you don't need to use giant needles which when they're big you need some practice of using them but of course it's uh, what you like you can try giant needles you can try arm knitting and one of the videos I will show you how to 
how to do arm knitting too. Or you can try my way, hand knitting on the table. And for this purpose, you can use any table, kitchen table, your desk will work. If you want to sit and watch TV and do uh, hand knitting, you can just use a pillow in front of you. It's up to you. So we used all of our two pounds, except of this <clears throat> about uh, one yard, maybe one yard and a half, that we will keep for casting off. And now I will show you how to cast off your knitting. A uh, good part that you can do it from both sides, either from left or from right. We will be doing it from the right side. Uh, take two first stitches with the working yarn behind, put your hand inside these two st stitches, grab your working yarn, pull it through. You have one stitch in f uh, that you made from two stitches. Now add one more stitch from knitting project to your hand and you have two stitches on your hand. Grab working yarn and pull it through those two stitches. You have one stitch again made from two. Add another one, pull working yarn through and then do it this way up to the end of the knitting. Add the stitch, pull working yarn, add the stitch, pull working yarn, another stitch and the last two you pull through you make a stitch and then you have this end of the knitting you need to pull it through this stitch the last stitch then you pull it and that's how you end your knitting. This little end you can just hide on the back between one of the stitches, like that. The same you will do with this end when you start it. You need to hide it between stitches on the back of the knitting, like that. You don't really see it when you hide it and your beautiful 25 by 30 blanket is ready to be used extremely soft and nice with about three inches stitch thank you for watching stay warm and be cozy